What's up everybody? Dave Mo, Money Talks, and as you can see behind me, I just bought another car off the street. Um, and this is what it comes down to, guys. Look, it's raining. You see the, the pond over there? It's pouring down rain. Not pouring, but it's about to start. You can see everything up there. Um, 2008 G35 right there, um, like 150,000 miles. And once we get it back, I'll show you more about it. I gotta go help. All right, guys, so we'll get to that G35, but you sure you want to be a car dealer? It is four hours after I shot the first part of that G35 video. Actually, it's five and a half hours after. Just now got to the other side of Florida to pick up a trailer for Leroy. Of course, I went with him. I didn't see it back there, but I'll show you later. I uh, picked up a eight, eight foot by 16? Yeah. Eight, 83 inches by 16 too. Anyway. Good enough to haul what we need. Um, now we gotta go back to Tampa. At least a three hour, four hour ride, depending on traffic. So this is, this, is, this is the day, and I gotta eat, you know? Leroy's paying, so you know, it's steaks and lobster. You know how it is. Yes, sir, Dave's paying up too. No, 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 sir, no, sir, no, 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 no paying. All right, so this is the new baby here. Not Leroy, the trailer. So he's gonna pump it up with some air. We just stopped here at, uh, Bennigan's. First time I've ever been to a Bennigan's. I had the Monte Crisco. It's one hell of a sandwich. One hell of a sandwich, I tell you. Um, so the trailer from inside um, Fender to Fender, it's uh, 83. 83 and 16 foot 2 from front to back. And guys, this is what I'm saying to you. This is really all you need to move most of your vehicles. 35 pound axles, 3,500 pound axles. So that means that you could have um, a payload of, I, I think, 7,000 pounds less the weight of the trailer. So I think this trailer was weighing less than 1,000 pounds just for the top of it. So a 6,000 pound truck. FYI, a Hummer H2 weighs bone stock with stock wheel stock, everything only weighs 6,100 pounds. So I would have no fear of putting an H2 on this trailer and driving it home except i don't drive with trailers that's a little a little uh insider information for you i'm not a big fan of driving with trailers never have driven with one so but i will have to get used to it but again guys look it's not in the best shape right but all this is is metal it doesn't matter it's not rotted the whole way through pick this thing up i think for 2200 bucks and the money it's gonna save between having to get cars all the way from like the two to three hundred dollar toes, it'll pay for itself very, very quickly. Very quickly. If not, Leroy will um, end up charging me whatever the other person charges me, but he'll get it for me the next day. So it works out really well for me. Um, with that being said, you know, once it's getting dark, so depending on the light situation, once you get back to Tampa, which honestly, it's gonna be dark when we get back to Tampa, right? So I have to show you that G35 tomorrow that we just bought, the G35 or G37. 35 or 37X, it's an 08 uh, all-wheel drive. I didn't even start it. The guy said it needed a motor, I believed him. <laughs> so I bought it, you know? That's just how it is. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Well, actually, I'll see you tomorrow. The joys of being a car dealer. Look at this. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Not one, but two. Two fucking blowouts. You got a flashlight on you? Yeah. So there's one. Look at that, that shit is off like a tank tire. <laughs> 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 fucking shit. Anyways, yo, it's all in the game. This shit happens. Made it to Walmart. Uh, we bought a jack. So Leroy's going to uh, take one tire off of the passenger side, take these two off that side and ride back with only two tires total. We're about an hour, hour and a half out. What a joyous, joyous evening. All right, all right, all right. That's how we're gonna roll. All the way back to Tampa. We're gonna make it this time. Oh, we're gonna make it. 
I was trying to let Leroy know had he had a Milwaukee tool, none of this would have ever happen. No, no blow. You want this in the bed or the truck? I put it in the back of the truck. You can leave it in the bed. Ain't no one gonna steal right over you. <laughs> I tried to tell him if he had Milwaukee tools, you you never get a blowout. <laughs> I bust some balls. Anyway, guys, all right, back to Tampa. Here we go. We out of here. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Day Mo. This is Money Talks. Hit the subscribe button. Ring that bell if you want. Picking up where we left off. It's the new day, but it's not. It's a new day, new shirt. Might be the same color, but it's just because I just buy shit and I forget what I have. Anyway, you guys seen us last night? The uh, do, uh, the um. Let me shut this thing off. Hold on. You guys seen this red? So I um. Well, let's just get right into it. We did two things last night. Made it one video. Let's check out the G35s. You guys, in the beginning of the video, you've seen this thing getting loaded up. The tire was flat, if you recall. Um, you can see it's got a leak because the, the sunroof doesn't go down. It doesn't close. It goes click, 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 click. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to try to do a reset. But I'm supposed to get some, some temperature here. So see, this is all jammed up. Of course, typical shit. You know what I mean? But the leather looks pretty good. It's got to be cleaned here. But otherwise, it's good. Awesome rips on the sides. Um, backup camera. Oh. I didn't tell you. This car had a blown motor. Remember, we bought this. If you remember, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of the video. This car I bought with a blown motor, so I didn't even have the guy start it. I simply told the uh, tow truck guy just to load it up. It's got a blown motor, and he dropped it here. So come to find out, it doesn't have a blown motor at all. Drove it up and down Florida Avenue, crazy amounts of time. Leroy was beating the piss out of this bad boy. No blown motor. What a fucking win. $1,400. Sometimes shit like this happens. I can't make this shit up. Dude told me it had a blown motor. I didn't want to start it. I bought it, figuring I needed an engine. What can you do? So, there she is. You know, the body is straight. It needs to be detailed, buffed out, but you know, that's nothing. This right here, that ashtray goes right there. So, that's good. The infinity uh, floor mats. I don't know if this thing's gonna open because the battery is dead. Nah. Full size spare in the trunk. Again, you know, these things are always fucked up. If I could pop them out, I'll probably pop it out, paint it. Um, seats are looking good. Okay, so you see the front seat? Got some rips. right at it she's good she's good and because she's a runner i mean look you got this right there right but i mean otherwise it's good g35s nissan's are notorious for those things um so this paint needs some paint i'll try to maybe sand it down and, and clear it again see what happens oh it needs a mirror cover but i'll get the whole mirror Headlights got to get buffed out. Grill is starting to peel some chrome, but I'm not worried about that. So it has stress fractures in it. I don't know if you guys are catching those lines. So when I clean it, they're going to be a lot more pronounced. But uh, get in the sunroof, whatever the problem is with the sunroof. So again, guys, sometimes, um, you know, when you're dealing with cars like this and they say they got a blown engine and everything else, the guy wanted 25 for it. I uh, talked him down over message to like 15, and then in actuality, he ended up posting it for 15. This deal took about a month to get done. Um, what's that? Video's coming soon. Um, so, then ended up getting the 15, and you know how I like to do that as a starting point. So I get the starting point down. So the starting point was already at 15. I figured I could negotiate lower. But for an 08, with about 150 on the clock, um, it's hard to go lower than that, even needing a, mo a motor, because the thing is still worth seven grand. So I was able to get him down another hundred. Nothing to be bragging about, but whatever. Here's the trailer. We got her back. Still needs tires, you know. So nothing really much to say about that. You guys seen us at um, where were we? Walmart last night. So, 
Ooh, I showed you guys twice. But again, these things happen and uh, you know, it's just what it is. You know, sometimes you can't, um, can't help it. What's that? Oh, you guys didn't see that one yet either? Come on, come on. See the white one back there? Holding out on you guys. I'm gonna get back on my game though. So, any, oh man, I don't know if you guys seen this one, that Nissan, what a killer. Still can't get that thing to run. New ECU, new power blocks. The shit either cranks or doesn't crank. What a fucking headache. Anyway, all right guys, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. And that's kind of some of what it takes to be a car flipper. I remember the days when I was flipping cars left and right. I was running all over the state of Florida and New York, depending on where I was at the time, trying to beat the next flipper to the deal. Um, as a matter of fact, I just turned down a 2008 G37X Coupe for 4,000 today in Kissimmee. They needed a rear bumper because it had a rebuilt title. So I didn't think it was worth the 4,000. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm not trying to... Oh, there's my Volvo. It's gotta get fixed. Uh, anyway, I didn't. I just didn't think it was worth it to, uh, to chase, you know? So whatever. Anyway, guys, hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. I really appreciate it. I'm out of here. I'm a That's my best friend.